Hello everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Lunar Pages account. As you can see, we've already opened the welcome email and we'll click on the customer account pages link. We'll log in. Next, we'll click on the control panel icon and then the go to lunar panel button. Next, we'll use the site management link and click on the Softaculous link. Softaculous is the applications installer which we'll use to install WordPress. Next we'll click on the install WordPress button and this is the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. The first thing we'll need to do is select a protocol. The default is fine. The domain, that is correct. The directory, the default is fine. Database name, default is fine. Table prefix, default is fine. Next, we'll select a name for our blog. We'll call ours NCM Test Site. Next, we'll add a site description. Now you needn't worry too much about these two form fields as both of these can be changed later using the WordPress dashboard. So if you're not sure what you'd like to call your site, you can put in anything there or just leave the default for the time being. The next option is whether or not we'd like to enable multi-site as we will be using WordPress as the CMS for the entire site we only need one installation and therefore we'll leave this unchecked. Next we have the admin account options. Admin as a username is fine. The password is fine for now. We'll copy that. The default email is fine. The default language English is fine and next we have the option to install the limit login attempts plugin. I highly recommend that you take advantage of this option as this is an excellent plugin. It helps to thwart hackers. We'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. No, we'd like to be informed when WordPress is updated, so we'll leave that unchecked. Auto upgrade, we will check that off, as this will allow Lunar Pages to automatically upgrade our WordPress to the latest version. Auto upgrade WordPress plugins, that's a time saver as well, so we'll check that off. Auto upgrade WordPress themes, also a time saver, and we'll check that off automated backups. We'll back up our site once a week. That should be sufficient. And backup rotation. This is the number of backups that you'll keep on the server and four should be more than sufficient so we'll leave the default. Next we'll select a theme. That's something we'll probably do later, change the theme and we can do that using the WordPress dashboard so we're not going to select one now and we'll just use the default. We'll scroll down to install. And as you can see WordPress is installing. The message tells us that the software was installed successfully. Next we'll take a look at the WordPress dashboard 
by clicking on the WP admin link. We'll log in. And here we have the WordPress dashboard. To add a new post, we simply click on plus new post. You add a title for your post here, add your content here, and click publish. But for now, we'll just take a look at the default site, see what that looks like. And this is our new WordPress installation on Lunar Pages. This is the default Hello World post. You can delete that using the WordPress dashboard. And to go back to the dashboard, you simply click on the dashboard link. I want to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM Online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.